Tell us a little bit about Safe Charge, um, like where it came from, the, the background of the company, and what you do. All right, so I'm the co-founder of Safe Charge, one of the co-founders. We started in 2007, a very exciting journey. We are a payment technology company, which is uh, quite global, with uh, offices uh, worldwide. And our vision was simply to give uh, our merchants a better way, convenient way, flexible way, to accept payments from consumer worldwide. Uh, this way is a great alternative to the traditional uh, financial institution. So we built uh, our platform in Tel Aviv and in uh, another development center in Europe, and we build all our technology from ground up. We are basically a full-service uh, solution, from a gateway to a principal membership with Visa and MasterCard. And uh, it was a so successful journey, so we decided to flow the business in 2014. Mm -hmm. It was a very successful IPO. We raised $125 million back in 2014. And I'm very happy to say that probably the shareholders that join us in the IPO and believed in the company, they make more than double uh, up today in four years. And it looks like uh, our technology, the payment technology seems to be uh, very exciting to other verticals and we've been approached by verticals in marketplaces, travel and retail to participate in RFP, so we are hiring now more and more uh, sales force to enter to verticals like, uh, you know, the exciting one of uh, travel, retail, digital goods. So seems, uh, yeah, seems a very exciting time for us. And tell me, you told me that one of the main differentiators between Safe Charge and other payment companies is that you are a technology company. And most of the Israeli businesses are based on technology. Can you give us some examples of the features which are unique to you and why other companies are coming to get payments done by safe charge? Yeah, so I'm uh, personally, I'm uh, coming from engineering. I'm an engineer, an information system. And uh, we built the product, uh, all our payment technology in Tel Aviv with very talented people. We believe uh, basically in uh, developing in-house to be more agile, to be more flexible, and to uh, deploy a version very fast. Uh, we are doing it in uh, Israel. And I think that today, what people need to understand that payment is no more a cost center, it's more about profit center. And for many years, I heard about payment is commodity product, and I don't, I disagree. I think that payment is uh, becoming now a truly competitive uh, differentiators. You really need to have a, a good payment product in order to support the growth of uh, your merchants. We see a great example of uh, Adyen, what they build, and successful story. And I think that uh, with the right technology that we have right now, which we build from ground up in Safe Charge, I think we can uh, give a great uh, alternative to other traditional uh, Okay, but what is it? What, what, what makes it unique? Do you have higher conversion? Do you have easier, easier uh, better usability? Uh, it, it's divided to several areas, but mm -hmm. let's agree that the native platform is very important, that you develop everything in-house. When we have native plus, it means that we're giving all the control back to the merchants. Okay. So, they have the control and they decide where the transaction and where the traffic should be processed with. And we give them the tools. We basically take all the years of uh, development, the technology, and give it to the merchant as a platform. They can connect and can ask us to connect wherever they want. If it's here in uh, Germany to support uh, GyroPay or the local payment method, and if it's in Portugal to Multibanco, and if it's to the US, or if it's, you know, we were the first to bring WeChat Pay, Tencent. We signed with Tencent last year. So we were the first to bring them to the UK. Oh, yeah. And uh, retailers in the UK can use today WeChat Pay. So it's to be fast, to deliver fast and connect your merchants to the relevant local payment method. I think it's a great asset to have everything in-house and your own technology. 
So you started in the gaming gambling space, yeah. uh, which I think is the most competitive or most demanding customer group. Um, what are the other industries you're serving now? You, you mentioned you do airlines, but um, what is about e-commerce um, or, or paid services like dating apps? Are you covering the, the whole aspect of the industries or are there are some where you're a bit more focused on? So yes, we started with the very demanding industries. Actually, you know, when we started with the very demanding industries, we were acting like the vault for credit cards data. And from the credit cards, from the vault services, we upgraded our positions to become principal member, to enjoy from technology and also from financial services. And uh, right now, I think that we are expanding to more and more verticals because the technology is uh, generic. So we see many customers coming from marketplaces in Asia, from customers' airlines and travel. We are the largest uh, gateway also in Israel. We are, processing, we are processing all the enterprise businesses in Israel. And I think that in the next couple of months, uh, the market will see that more and more uh, the presence of safe charge in, uh, in the new verticals. And we have the manpower for it and the sales force. And do you believe, if you look at the payment sector, I think PayPal is worth close to 100 billion. Um, Adyen is supposed to go public very soon. Will also be a multi-billion dollar company there. There, there are many companies. Do you see, see there's consolidation happening? We see the consolidation on a daily basis, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We see a lot of consolidation. I am happy to say that uh, we also became a sizable player. And we announced to the stock exchange uh, just recently that we exceeded the $1 billion transaction value a month. So safe charge is already above the $10 billion a and year. And your market cap is like half a billion dollars, something? In the market cap, we are half a billion pound. pounds. Pounds, okay, so. Yeah, and yeah, I think that in a very strong momentum now, because it's all about, about scale. And the platform of safe charge can do 10x than today, 10 times than what we are processing today. And the challenge is moving more and more from the technology part to more to the relationship and the customers. So we are very quite focused now on investing in our products. Yeah, talk and about, you said earlier, which I found interesting, that payment is not a cost, but a profit center. Absolutely. So, so talk about this. Uh, why is it a profit? You pay for the credit card charges. No? I think that uh, when you are offering the right tools to the merchants with our control manager, the native plus platform, the merchants are able to accept more. So more you, can, you give, as you said earlier, the power back to the merchant. So you have like through the settings as your customer flexibility. Exactly, to improve their authorization rate, to improve the price. We see what happened last Friday with Visa, for example, and Safe Charge was trying to perform, you know, with the best way in order to introduce to the merchant during the downtime of Visa, why don't you use another payment methods? Yes. Why don't you use MasterCard and other, uh, another local payment method? And the conversion, you can see eventually in the bottom line, safe charge acceptance rate, authorization rate is much higher uh, to the peers in the industry. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Well, congratulations for Thank your you. IPO. Yeah. Happy to have you here. And um, I'm sure you will sign many very great customers. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you so much. Thank you very much, Marco. Yeah.